I've been on a mission trying to figure out if I can get Opus Clip to help me make original content more effectively. I've also been on a mission to try to teach people how to use DaVinci Resolve to edit videos for YouTube. But I actually found if you start using them in combination, it can open up some possibilities that aren't available from each individually. Let me show you what I mean. Now here I have the Opus Clip website open and you can see that you can drop a link to some other video that you might have online somewhere or upload raw footage. But in this case, I have an hour and a half live stream of raw footage that I filmed with my pal, Nick Nimmin. Now I had Opus Clip go through and find what it thought were the highlight moments from that whole live stream. And it clipped them down and added in all the closed captions and it put in titles for them and did all the things that Opus Clip is known for. But one of the things that Opus Clip doesn't really do well is it limits your footage to 1080p. So if you've got 4K, 6K, 8K footage, you're not going to be able to get that kind of output from Opus Clip, but you can from the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. So if I bring that footage into DaVinci Resolve, I would have to go through an hour and a half of footage, try to find the parts that I thought were decent, and then try to edit them down. But one of the things that you can do is you can actually import some of the clips that Opus Clip has already created from this footage. And if you think that Opus Clip has found a decent part from this hour and a half of footage, you can just bring it down into your timeline. Look how small that 30 to 60 seconds is compared to this whole piece of footage. But I can select them all, right click, and then I can auto align clips based on the waveform using track number one as a reference. And if I ask it to sync, what it's gonna do very quickly is find that spot in this very long piece of footage where that Opus clip was taken from. And once it finds that section, you can see how these audio waveforms line up. I can either cut that out or I could use markers in the clip or in the timeline to mark that point in the raw footage where that clip was taken from. So I basically let Opus clip do the heavy lifting, find a really cool part in all of this footage. And then I just used it with DaVinci Resolve to find it again in the raw footage that I can play with any way I want. Now I could edit this in Opus clip, but I like the editing features in DaVinci Resolve resolve obviously even more. And I can do this with more than one clip. I could bring another clip down from Opus Clip. I could select that and the longer piece of raw footage, right click and have it auto align in the same way. And it'll go through and it'll find where that clip came from in this much larger piece of raw footage. And you can see it's found it way over at the end. So now I have the ability to go to the end and I can cut that section out. I can get rid of the rest if that's what I wanna do. I can just save it. I could even do things like change the clip color so that I recognize which portions of that are clips that I wanna use and edit right inside of Resolve that Opus Clip pointed out to me. I could even take the name of that Opus Clip under the file section of the inspector. I could right click, select all, I could copy that and then I could actually change the clip name itself to the same name so that that actually will be identified by that optimized name that Opus Clip assigned to it. Now, another cool thing that you could do is actually bring in that really long piece of raw footage and up in your media pool, you could right click on it and you could choose under the AI tools to have DaVinci Resolve create an audio transcription of everything that was said in that hour and a half. Now, much like using Opus Clip, it's gonna take a little while for it to put that together. But what I like about this is I could have Opus Clip off doing heavy lifting for me on one project. I could have DaVinci Resolve off doing some heavy lifting here in this project, and I could be working on something else in the meantime. Now, the really cool thing I like about this is I know a lot of people here in my own community who are trying to become editors and work with other content creators so that they could have them as clients and actually edit their content for them. But when you get hit with files and files of raw footage and you don't even know what's important in there or what to look for, it's really great that you can use a couple of different things together here to start finding important pieces from this raw footage and get rid of the rest and start working on just the important parts that might actually make an impact. Now, as good as DaVinci Resolve's transcript option is, if I was looking for a specific part of a video and I was trying to find it based on just typing in something to the search bar, like we were talking about coding, I might end up with a lot of little hits in here, all in yellow, where we talked about coding many times and I'd have to still scroll through an entire hour and a half of this transcript to find the part that I thought was important. Or let's say here where I was talking about people using AI to steal my content. I've found channels that have taken my video, they've modified it slightly, but pretty much it's the same video. They've taken everything I've said, they've run it through an AI voice generator, changed my voice and even put it into another language and re-uploaded the video on their own channels. 
But with Opus Clip, because they're even taking some of these lines and putting it into very obvious closed captions, I can steal that section that says, I found channels. I can type that in, found channels that, and it'll take me right to that contextual portion right inside of the captions inside of the transcription of DaVinci Resolve. Now I don't even have to import anything. It just helped me hear that clip up front, realize if I liked it or not, and then find it in my video editing software. And then I can just highlight that section inside of my captions, deciding where that portion I wanted to keep started from the first word to the very last word. And then I can choose to create a sub clip. I can name it whatever I want. I found channels, hit create, and now it's gonna put that right up here as a smaller clip right in my media pool. And I can bring that down to work with and edit later on inside of DaVinci Resolve. But Opus Clip got me to find that piece by showing me exactly what that clip looked like, what I was saying, and then allowed me to plug that into the transcript feature to find the exact section without having to just guess which part that was. This is just another way that I found that Opus Clip can potentially help you create more original content, especially if you're working with other the creators and you may not know the source files as well as they do and edit content quickly to get original content out there when you're dealing with large amount of source files that could be hours and hours long. If you want to learn more about Opus Clip, I'll leave a link down below where you can go and try it out for yourself for free for a week. And if you want to learn even more, click on the videos that I have on screen now that I talk a little bit more about how to use Opus Clip to create original content. Peace.